Corey MacArthur here, your realtor in London with Remax. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. And uh, let's get right into it, guys. Last week I talked to you about understanding your credit score and uh, what makes up your credit score um, and just how credit bureaus break that down and uh, how they arrive at your credit score. So this week I want to talk to you guys um, a little bit about how to improve your credit score or maintain a good credit score. I had a lot of good feedback from you guys about... Uh, you know, you really didn't understand how they calculated your credit score and you want to know how to uh, keep a good credit score or improve that credit score. So uh, let's get started. One of the first things I want to talk to you about, and it's, it's kind of redundant because I've already uh, said it once, but you need to understand what your credit score is by actually running a credit check at least once a year. Uh, you can do that through companies such as Equifax and TransUnion. Uh, those two companies can provide you with a credit report and uh, you need to review that credit report. And if there's any uh, false recordings on there or any errors that have been made uh, on that then you can then call those people and uh, get that corrected you can call the credit bureau have that corrected uh, however if there are negative recordings on there that are true you can't call up and complain about them and say you want them taken off or you don't like them that's not the way that this works uh, you that's just a fact of uh, you made a poor choice or circumstances uh, kind of created a negative recording on your credit score so that's fine just deal with that you have power in understanding it so uh, that is good uh, my next thing that I want to say to you guys is if you do have some uh, outstanding debts because we all know that credit issues are usually debt issues and uh, the problem with them is that uh, they're quick and easy to get into and long and hard to get out of so uh, I just want to encourage you guys to be patient and persistent when it comes to improving your credit score and fixing your credit score um, so my next uh, recommendation to you guys is talk to your creditors if you do have any outstanding debt that you feel like you've really really gotten behind on and has really snowballed for you guys uh, talk to them you have their money they're interested in helping you uh, a lot of times they will uh, talk to you about setting up a plan or making a plan for improving uh, your credit score or getting rid of that debt I should say um, or if you're in a situation where you just lost your job uh, and you can't afford to make those monthly payments uh, to pay down your credit uh, card or your lines of credit whatever it may be uh, they'll oftentimes allow you to defer payments for a while uh, for a couple months until you get back on your feet so they are interested in helping you and I also want to say to you guys a lot of people feel like once they get so far into debt or so much uh, so far with their credit issues that they need to contact a professional company that's going to help them uh, fix their credit score, fix their debt issues. And I'm not saying that that's a bad idea, but I am. I want you to know and understand that you guys can do everything that they can do. If you're willing to put in the hard work, educate yourself, you can accomplish everything they can. However, sometimes the best route to go is to work with a professional company that will help you improve your credit score and will help you uh, decrease your debt or deal with your debt issues. So I would like to say that to you. The other thing I want to say to you guys is I've had a lot of people say to me, well, you know what, as long as I make my minimum monthly payments, I'm okay. It's not going to affect my credit score. Sure, I'm carrying some debt, but uh, I'm just, you know, making those minimum payments. I'm doing okay. But the thing they don't understand and what you may not understand is that when you carry over a 30% balance of your available credit, it begins to negatively affect your credit score. So if you have a line of credit where you're using up to over 30% of that, and that's the only available credit you have to your name, then that can begin to negatively affect your credit score, even though you are making your uh, minimum monthly obligations uh, to your line of credit, you're still negatively, slowly chipping away at your credit score, which, isn't uh, the best thing to do as you guys all know so my recommendation to you at this point would be as I've said before increase your credit score uh, or increase your credit limit I should say uh, increase it and if you have any old existing lines of credit that you don't use anymore or old credit cards you don't use anymore leave them open that's available credit to you guys and that allows you like I've said it just makes it so you're using less and less percentage of your available credit when you do choose to borrow on credit so 
those are some of my recommendations to you guys today. I'm just scratching the surface, but that is a starting point. And my goal for you is to get you thinking about getting you moving in the right direction when it comes to your credit score, uh, or improving your credit score, or improving your credit and debt situation. So that is my recommendation to you uh, today. I hope that that has helped. Uh, I would love to sit down with you guys and talk about further ideas, put you in contact with professionals if you feel that that's what you need. Um, whether it's uh, talking to a credit company or a company that's going to improve your credit score, talking to a bank to consolidate your debt, since we all know that credit issues are debt issues. Uh, any of those steps, I would love to help you guys make and help you understand why they will help and what you can do um, and what is actually necessary because everybody's situation is different. So please contact me. I'd love to talk to you guys about that. Uh, you know where to reach me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, we got some spring weather here, so go out, enjoy it, make the most of your day, and uh, I look forward to talking to you guys soon.